Hello everyone, it's Anna Page. It's time for a love reading. What is it that you need to know about this moment in time when it comes to relationships? Maybe, uh, now this is collective. This is just kind of an overall, so it doesn't really matter whether you're involved with someone or not. This is just a message, um, general message about yeah, about the word love. That's what I'm being told. So maybe that's love for yourself. Maybe that's you are involved in a relationship or maybe that's something that you desire. Um, yes. Okay. So thank you. All right. Very good. So we are going to, as always, breathe in through heart space. So please take a minute to just breathe in through your heart center. Breathe in and hold it for as long as you can and then breathe out love. Ready, one, two, three, breathe in. Okay. All right, well, I was going to do the Dreams of Gaia Tarot but I'm actually, there needs to be some healing first. So I'm being told that I need to switch direction. And I'm always, as always, going to trust my intuition. Um, the Heal Yourself cards. That's the booklet there. I'm being called to use those instead. So thank you very much. Okay. All right, so the overall message for the word love starts with some healing. So some of you will resonate with this, thank you, that there still is some, there's still some residual healing that needs to take place within your own heart space. All right, that card, ah, Wow, this is pretty powerful entrapment. Okay. This is already proving to be a very interesting reading. You are letting too many things in your environment control your life. If you've drawn this card because uh, you have drawn this card because it is time for a shift in personal power. You are encouraged to take responsibility for your life and choose new ways of thinking that create change. The reality is that for you to make the changes you want, need, and desire, you need a system. Daily discipline and motivation. As long as you blame outside influences for any circumstances in your life, you are powerless. It's the government, your abusive background, the interest rates, the bank's fault. The system that many ultra, ultra successful people use is they read books every day, listen to audios, go to as many seminars as they can, Practice recognizing others' achievements and form relationships with like-minded people. Okay. Entrapment. So you need to take control of your own life. Stop allowing others to um, have influence through their words or their actions because they really don't matter. Only yours do and what is bringing you to your highest and greatest good. Um. And however, let's see, zero. Okay, I'm being told that whatever that looks like is going to be obviously very individualized to each person listening to this and the person that this is resonating with. Um, really, okay, really pay attention to the people that you're spending time with. Are they successful? Are they heading in the direction that you want to go into? Um, are they bringing positivity into your life or are they constantly being, um, uh, a negative Nelly or someone that is just not positive at all? Um, cause I mean, think about this. I mean, here's this, this creature over here. That's basically 
hiding behind a mask, is not really speaking your truth and is hovering. And it's almost like ready to kind of whack you with the cane. And that's not what you want in life. So stop and tramp, uh, stop putting those pressures on yourself and start releasing. I hear, I'm hearing the word release because that's when, when you can stand in your fullness, this message is all about the word love. When you can stand in your fullness and actually love yourself first, that is when major shifts happen in other areas, the love for, you know, other relatives in your family, um, those people that are within your life that, love you, you in turn can love them in return because you love yourself. So yeah, there needs to be some, some shedding for you to move forward in love. And ultimately, as I said, I was called to the healing cards because you need to heal yourself first. That's what this is saying, that you need to shed what's not serving you Stop blaming everybody else. You're the one that chose to be in the relationship in the first place, the relationship with yourself, the, um, the self story that you keep telling yourself. Hopefully that will shift into something good, but you need to get yourself out of this. Hands down, there's no way, no way that love for yourself um, and then true love with um you know, someone that you may be involved with or who you would love to attract. And in all honesty, I'll be blunt and honest because I will only speak truth. And for some of you, when you shift and start loving yourself, you'll realize that you may not be in the most loving, healthy relationship romantically or a relationship with your profession. Ah, thank you. Um, the next card is from Messages from Light. <sighs> Protection. So what happens when you start to release some of those people, thoughts and things that no longer serve you and you stop the entrapment and letting others take control? When you start taking control over your own life, there is the need for self-protection. Never let anyone dim your light. I mean, see how radiant this is? And it's like the core, it's like this angel shape. You need to ask for protection. Whatever your higher power is, ask for protection. Every single day, make it take that disciplinary action. This description talked about discipline as well and taking, um, you know, deliberate action. Start by asking for more protection. Because when you start to let others go and um, really step into your own light, it can put you in a very vulnerable position. It can make you feel really open and, um, you know, really quite vulnerable. So ask for extra protection. Spirit, is there anything else that needs to come out today? One more. Okay. One more message from Light. So I think the better question is what... What's the next step in creating a healthy love relationship? Ultimately, you guys, this this is listen. Okay, thank you. Um, well, I said it was going to be a love reading, and I wasn't quite sure whether it would be for romantic relationships, but ultimately, this is about self love. Self love. Light worker, you were born with a lot of light. I mean, look at this beautiful. I mean, there's a ton of radiant light, and you are a light worker. And when you can step into that self love with 
100% certainty. You know, and again, self-love is something that um, is, at least for me, is a daily practice just because of the patterns. And maybe you have had patterns in the past of self-sabotage, of letting others take control. And, you know, just remember that you're a light worker. Every single day you wake up and you have purpose. Yeah, you've you've got purpose. Light you you're a light worker. And you need to shed your light. And if you allow others to take control over take control over your life and the love that you have for yourself, then that will dim your light. Period. I just want to see if there are any other clarifying words. Okay, so light worker, everything is energy. Make the conscious decision to work with the light that moves through you. Be of service and you will be served. All right, self-love, 100%. Wasn't quite sure where this would go, but when I, uh, when I knew I needed to do a love reading... This is about self-love. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. And there are people out there that can help you if you need help, um, if you need protection, whether that's spiritually or maybe you need to ask for pr protection um, from someone you know, love, and trust to help you through this time and to kind of be your account accountability department, uh, partner, excuse me, because this is what will transpire. And just think about the word light, lightness, um, brightness, uh, and you, you're here to share that light for the collective. But I, the word like lightness, like once you, stop the entrapment then your whole universe your your whole soul will become extremely light light-hearted light when you walk and when you talk and it'll be softer and people will be more receptive to that and talk lighter okay hold on okay I've been told that you need to talk softer to yourself. Talk lighter to yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself. It's okay. Every single day you wake up is a brand new day. And at the end of the day, if you didn't like something, you can change it tomorrow. That's even with you know, the artwork that I do and I speak and I do uh, artwork on stage, one of the things that I tell people is that if you don't like the way the painting turned out, guess what? You can paint over it. So that's what I'm being told. Don't be so hard on yourself and that's how this is going to happen. But this is really, this is kind of a dark place to be and you want to move into the lightness and the brightness, whatever they had, however that looks for you. So, um, as I said, some of this will resonate with you. Some of you out there, it will not, and that's okay. Uh, if there is anything that I can do to assist you in becoming the best version of you and help you root yourself in your own precious sanctuary please reach out to me i do personal readings you can check out the description box below to reach to uh, find out how to reach me please like and subscribe the, to this channel rooted sanctuary is a beautiful soft place for you to land it is a beautiful place for you to land a soft place for you to land if there's anything that i can do to assist you please let me know until then be well you are love and you are loved. Take care. It's on a page. Be well, and we will see you next time.